What is up ladies and gentlemen, how is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is doing amazing. So I apologize, you know, I was supposed to get a video up um, about March 10th, March 5th, something like that. It was about a week ago, no Bobby Schmurder or anything, but I was supposed to get a video up. It was supposed to be a montage from footage from 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so pissed. So I have four hard drives and one SSD on my computer, right? I have one for my programs, one for my games, one for my storage. I have my SSD and then I have another one. The like where I record everything is to the storage. That hard drive for some unknown reason doesn't want to show up. Windows is saying that I need to format it for it to like read the partition. I don't understand. So what I'm thinking is maybe if I buy like an external adapter, maybe I can plug it in via USB and I can read it that way. Like honestly, I have no idea, but I really need to get a video out because 2019, I promised myself I'm going to be making a return to YouTube. And I, I plan on keeping that promise because I love YouTube. I love the community. I love every single one of my subscribers. All of you are amazing, you know. If you watch my videos from day one, like, you know, I came from like zero subscribers to where I am now. And that's all because of you guys. And I, I, I really appreciate that so much. And I know a lot of YouTubers say that, but they actually mean that. Like, it means so much. Um, it's just, it's, it's been a crazy, a crazy roller coaster, you know. We went up, we went down, we went up. You know, I had the whole drama with uh, Blizzard, all of that stuff. I came back to WoW and it's just been, it's, there's been a lot of history on this channel. And you know, we're all family here. So I feel like, you know, if I make a promise and I say I'm gonna do something, like I have to stay by that. Otherwise I'm just a unloyal hoe. And let's face it, nobody out here wants to be an unloyal hoe. So yeah. <laughs> February 23rd. It was a pretty good event. You know, I rode up to Islington, you know, um, got some footage over there. I did a stream for about a minute. The Riot Squad um, manufacturers. Oh, it was insane. Like the Riot Squad. Like I have footage just on screen right now. A Riot Squad van pulls up. It's an actual police van and it's been pimped out like like pimp my ride you know and it says riot squad everywhere you know it was like a testing station like it was amazing it was an amazing experience at one point i remember i was so drunk i was standing out there and some random drunk russian woman came up to me and then she started having a conversation with me i don't remember the conversation exactly because i was drunk at that point like i'm a little bit tipsy right now I'm not gonna lie it's a saturday don't judge me okay um but yeah you know we i ended up having a conversation with this girl and uh yeah she told me she was russian so <laughs> obviously when i'm drunk <laughs> oh man i just said some random phrases that i knew in russian i don't know it was a really weird experience at one point i'm pretty sure i called on my comrades i was like ah привет, comrade cacti she found it funny i think i don't know um but yeah it was it was a fun experience like i went up to islington during the whole game event you know it was an amazing setup like honestly you had eight ps4s with eight different monitors on them all lined up you had one like big screen with an xbox plugged into it and then you had like a bench there for people to sit down for uh, the fifa tournament i guess unfortunately i never got to compete so yeah for the ps4 i ended up getting an emulator so i could emulate a mouse and keyboard so that i could emulate the experience long story short i could use a mouse and keyboard on ps4 because uh, no way can I use a controller. I wouldn't be able to use my thumbs. It just doesn't work. I cannot do that. I am like, I was born with the mouse and keyboard. I die by the mouse and keyboard, you know. I'm like one of those diehard PCs all day long. All of that good stuff. So I roll up there and yeah, two of the PS4s at this point are up and running. So I plug everything in. I get everything set up. I'm using a mouse and keyboard. Everything's going perfect. The only thing is, out of all eight PS4s, only two of the PS4s actually had the games downloaded, which sucked because it means that the PS4s were basically just, it was for display, you know, no one was able to actually use them for competitions. So I was like, well, damn, looks like I'm not competing. And uh, I'm just hoping at this point, because one of the PS4s was about 60 something gigabyte downloads. And it said it would be, <laughs> it would be completed in a few days. So I was just hoping that something good was going to happen. <coughs> Sorry, a little bit of gas, drinking alcohol, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, agree with me too much. Anyways, um, so you got so many PS4s downloading big updates. And at this point, I'm like, well, uh, damn, I'm going to just keep drinking and hope that at some point someone's going to call me up to compete. 
So, uh, yeah, I keep drinking. At one point, I almost ended up getting into a fight with a homeless guy as well. Like, honestly, I was so drunk. All I know is some random guy comes into the shop. And, like, the shop is packed at this point as well. He comes up to me and he says, uh, can you spare any change? I looked him dead in the eye and said, I'm so sorry, man. I don't speak any English. He froze <laughs> for about 10 seconds and he got pissed. He was like, you just spoke English to me. You speak English. Like, honestly, he wanted to fight me. Everyone in the shop went quiet. Like, no one knew what to do. And I was like, oh, English. Sorry, I thought you said something else. Yes, English. I speak English. <laughs> and then I went into my pocket and I pulled out five pence. <laughs> The guy swore at me and just left the shop. Someone came up to me. I don't remember who it was. That was like, yo, man, I thought you were going to get into a fight. <laughs> and I was like, nah, man, it's all love out here. And uh, yeah, everyone was just shocked. They was like, yo, what just happened? What was that? What? Like, it was mad. <laughs> um, it was a really, it was a really good, uh, good, good experience. You know, it was live streamed on Vaping Juice's YouTube channel. It was live streamed on their Facebook. I tried to stream on my channel, but for some reason, apparently it said in the program that I was banned from streaming. And I was like, nah, that, 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 there's no way I'm banned from streaming. So I did a quick one minute stream on YouTube. I didn't want to use my phone data too much. So I ended up canceling the stream. I only streamed for about a minute. And yeah, I ended up getting some footage of the Riot Squad van that pulled up. It was amazing. Like honestly, the guys from Riot Squad, they are really cool guys and I mean, if you're vaping, you know, definitely check out Riot Squad. Like, they are not a corporate company that just care about making money and sales. They're actually, like, they they were relatable. Like, I could actually have a conversation with them. And they were so chill. Like, we could relate so much. And I was like, yo, Riot Squad, you guys are kind of lit. And, yeah, you know, like, everyone who attended, so cool. Everyone. Like, this is why I love the vaping industry so much. Because it's like a family. And everyone on that night, I swear, everyone is the most humble person that you ever see. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I guess it's kind of like the biking community as well. Like, you have car communities, then you have biking communities. And I've seen so many videos on the internet as well, where, like, someone will be on a bike, they'll get... That's my battery charged. Someone will be on a bike, they will, like, fall over or something. And then, like, in no time, all the bikers are pulling up and they're helping the guy out. That is exactly how it is in the vaping community. And then you compare it to like a crappy community like the cigarette community. They just smoke because like, like people smoke, you know? Like no one, like you don't see like cigarette competitions. Like that doesn't exist. But vaping competitions, say you got that all day long. So that's like one of the things like the community is so strong and there's a bond and I don't know. Like it was just, it was a really good experience and I had a really great time. Um, you know, I'm a little bit pissed that I wasn't able to get that montage upload did but you know it is what it is hopefully i can still recover that footage i shouldn't be recording audio whilst i've been drinking alcohol because i guarantee i'm gonna play this back and i'm gonna be like oh yeah i sound like i'm just stuttering my words but ladies and gentlemen you know like we keep everything on this channel 100 so you know no matter how embarrassing this video is i'm gonna upload it i've been drinking alcohol it's a saturday night don't blame me i'm a little bit tipsy and uh, yeah, I just figured I'll share a little bit of a story on February 23rd. It was a really good event and you know, it was pretty cool. And the next event should hopefully be at Elephant. So War of Road, London. And that'll be in my shop, which is gonna be really cool. So yeah, we got a lot of ideas that we want to do. We just don't know how we're gonna execute it. But once we figure it out, like we're taking over the vaping industry is taking over the gaming industry and vice versa so they're going to be interweaved i guess in a sense but ladies and gentlemen i th i figured i'll just post like a little quick update on what has been happening in my life and how the event went and that you know i'm not dead again yeah i'm still here and i love every single one of you i appreciate it so much that you're still watching my videos you know i uploaded that video just like for the announcement of the whole event and everything on february 23rd and that video, I think, is in about 5,000 something views already and like 170 something likes. That is 
honestly that means a lot to me because i've been inactive for one year and to see that amount of support it means so much to me like i want every single one of you to know that i really appreciate every single one of you and that you are the best and uh i love every single one of you yeah i keep repeating myself i apologize i'm tipsy okay fight me <laughs> but uh yeah it was a great event we had a great time and the next event is going to be crazy i'm going to post it everywhere and 100 it will be streamed on my channel this time no matter what that error was before saying that i was banned or whatever we're gonna get that fixed we're going to stream it on my personal youtube and it is going to be amazing it's gonna be it's gonna be havoc you know like whenever i go out and i do something i take it to the extreme like you know it's a good night when a few ambulances show up that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i love every single one of you and i will see you in my next video which will hopefully be that montage have an amazing rest of a day or a night or an evening and i'll see you in the next one peace, peace, peace.